The Russian army in Ukraine is doing so badly that their propagandists failed to make even a good propaganda video. This also happened in the situation in which the Russian artillery received little Ukrainian karma. Russian 2S4 Tylepan 240mm self-propelled heavy mortar which is one of largest mortar system in use today is filmed for propaganda purposes and while is firing on Severodonetsk from Rubin. Then it tried to get away, but literally only got 150 meters before Ukrainian artillery blew it sky high. And another big failure for Russia in its invasion of Ukraine, the Ukrainian army shared a video on Wednesday showing the destruction of a valuable Russian radio jammer hidden among farm buildings in Kharkiv. The video showed an aerial view of rural buildings, annotated to point out Russian equipment hidden there. What appeared to be an antenna could be viewed sticking out. There were at least six vehicles, described by Ukraine as armored fighting vehicles, guarding it. A few seconds in, the video cuts to footage of plumes of smoke and flame coming from the same spot. The footage doesn't show the moment of the strike or give in detail about the weapons used. Ukraine said the equipment it destroyed was of R-330ZH, also known as the Zhidl, which is designed for automated detection, direction finding and analysis of radio signals, according to the Ukrainian army statement. The Zhidl is key to Russian electronic warfare, according to the website Army Technology, which wrote that it also works to jam satellite communications with a range of 20 to 30 kilometers and cellular signals up to 50 kilometers away. The attack was a joint operation between Ukrainian ground and air forces, the Army's post said. The Army's statement did not identify when or where the strike took place, but open-source intelligence enthusiasts on social media geolocated it to a tiny settlement outside Izium, a city 120 kilometers southeast of Kharkov. Ukraine said on May 14 that Russian troops were withdrawing from the Kharkov region. The Institute for the Study of War, a Washington, D.C.-based think tank, agreed in a May 13 report that Ukraine appears to have won the Battle of Kharkov. It said that Russian ground troops were still attempting to hold on to various areas, including Izium. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.